What's up, everybody? It's your half Thai with our oh, it's your partial Thai and fully Malaysian host Joshua C here. And today with me here is the Oppo Find X2, which I'm not gonna unbox this Oppo Find X2 because it's not a latest phone. You probably already seen it. But why is it here? Because Android 11 has just been released, and so does the latest Color OS 11. Yes. Oppo Color OS 11 has just been launched as well and Oppo is one of the first OEM that updated to the Android 11 and the Find X2 series, the Find X2 Pro, the Find X2 is the first phone that got the Color OS 11 based on Android 11. So what's new about it? Let's check it out. For the Oppo fans out there, yes, Oppo fans, you, you, and you, I'm pretty sure you're pretty excited about the latest Color OS 11. So here you go. I'm gonna go through all the details about the Color OS 11, the new features about the Color OS 11. And for those of you who are not the Oppo user, don't go away because this video is a great chance for you to check out the latest Android 11 interface. So why does Oppo upgrade or jumps its Color OS from 7.2 straight away to Color OS 11? Well, according to the Oppo officials when they are launching during their launch they stated that because they want to ease out or they want to take out the confusion of their Oppo users when they know that which version of OS they are using based on which Android version. Just like now, when they are using the Android 11, then the color OS will be 11. So it's the same number, it's aligned. So you can easily mention out, you can easily remember what color OS you are using. Unlike like normally when you ask previously, when you ask me, hey, you're using Android 10, right? But what color OS you are using? Uh? I think color OS 8 or 7. So I get easily confused with the color OS difference and also the Android difference number. So now you can easily mention. So this is a pretty smart move, I could say. So since the Oppo Find X2 series is one of the first devices in Oppo that get the Color OS update and also Android 11, let's check out what's the new feature on it, okay? So with the collaboration between Oppo and Google to make a better user experience, you have all the native Android 11 changes compared to the Color OS 7.2, such as some improvements on the notification, one-time permission, auto reset permissions, and an updated power menu that allows you to control your smart home devices conveniently. Not to mention, Google integrated the Google Lens feature with ColorOS 11 to have the three finger screenshot, which you can just use your three fingers to hold and pull the text you want and to translate immediately on the screen for you. Well, that's not just it because just like every other ColorOS updates that Oppo have, there's always some tweaks and tweaks of their very own. So this time, I can see that Oppo really placed its effort and time onto upgrading, updating this Color OS 11 and just like the new slogan, Color OS 11, make life flow. With this slogan, you can see that the whole user interface flows perfectly smoothly even with the transition between apps and pages and is more nicely designed compared to the last one. This is all thanks to the latest UI first 2.0 which combines lag reducing engine with quantum animation. And according to Oppo, it successfully improves the efficiency of RAM utilization, response rate, and even frame rate stability. Now, I know that it's a little bit technical in terms, but if you want me to say it in a layman term, it just simply means that it's super duper smooth. So according to Oppo during their launch of the Color OS 11, Oppo mentioned that this time the aim of the Color OS 11 is to allow users to have their own will to personalize and customize into their own unique OS system or their own unique interface so that it can represent their own self. Because now with the new personalization feature, you can customize anything you want from wallpapers, app layout, fingerprint styles, color schemes, notification drawer styles to icon styles, edge lighting and even your own color ringtones. So first, let's start with the customizable wallpapers. This time, Oppo has worked with Beauty of Science to have the Artist Plus wallpaper project. So you have the best high quality pictures and shots to set your mood right on your home screen. And if that's not enough for you, you can even use your own pictures from the gallery and let the UI to optimize it and convert it into your own unique wallpaper. Isn't that cool? Next one will be the new always-on display feature, which is customizable. So the new always-on display feature 
feature can allow you to customize and create your own art effect on the design, sizes and animations. And if you're not great in artistic pieces like me, you can also customize the clocks and even write your own mantra and customize your own fonts, colors, and even text layout. Speaking about fonts, Oppo has just released their own unique Oppo set that you can use to customize to your own personal likings as well. And now if you're on your home screen and you're feeling to customize your layout, all you need to do is just to pinch your home screen and there's the personalization menu pop up for you to change the home screen layout, icon pack, transitions and many more so that you don't have to jump into the settings menu. The best part of it is that when you are changing, you can see the life changes during a customization so you get a clearer picture of what you are designing. And now next, let's go into the other feature which I'm pretty satisfied and also proud of which is in the display and brightness and you can see I've already turned into that mode which is the dark mode. Yes, in ColorOS 11, this time, the dark mode, you can have the dark mode settings. And within the dark mode setting, you can get three different styles of dark mode. The enhanced, medium, and gentle. It all depends on your own liking. You like the more contrasty dark mode or the more grayish dark mode or the lightest dark mode. And also now you can adjust the icons to dark mode as well as reduce contrast in low light. So you won't hurt your eyes even though in a low light situation. And that's not just it because now you get to auto switch the dark mode as well. So it will, you can custom your own sunrise and sunset to switch the dark mode off and on or it will auto detect as well. Okay, so since now we really can't able to go out of the country and we have to stay in Malaysia and travel only locally and even now we are a little bit sensitive and we need to take care of ourselves in our hygiene and also stay safe at all times. How do we keep ourselves relaxed out of the pressure of our work. Well, thanks to the ColorOS 11, Oppo Relax 2.0 has added some new features which is not just on the sound, the interface, it has the new Sound Plus feature where whenever you listen to any relaxing music that you choose and then you can just go into Sound Plus and mix and match the sound, the noises, the environmental sound that you want and to make yourself into a new different relaxation music. And not just that because remember I say about traveling, I mentioned about traveling and with the new feature on the Oppo Relax 2.0, it now has the Explore feature which you can just click in the Explore feature and then you can click into China, Bangkok, Tokyo to discover sounds from different different country and when you click into it, you can listen to the ambient sound, the street sounds of Bangkok, Tokyo, China. It will let you immerse yourself and to let you feel like you're traveling virtually into that city. So if you're a gamer, this is especially for you. This new feature on the game space, the Oppo game space is really, really awesome. It's really exciting because the new function on the game space is called the immersive mode. The immersive mode, when you turn it on, it will automatically turn off all the notifications for you during your game and you can be more immersive and more focused on your game. But if you really really need to take on the call or you want to reply the message and you don't want to pause your game, well, you can always swipe up your game and make it into a floating window. And while you're making your game into a floating window, the game will still continue on and you can type your message, you can reply all your messages and keep an eye on your game. This feature is called the Flex Drop where you can multitask at the same time as well as sending files immediately by drag and drop into your messenger to send it to someone easily. As well as you can share your file quickly and smoothly. Alright, okay, I know that's a lot to take in. So now this is the last one, which is the battery guard feature. Well, as you guys know, we've been having the large battery capacity and also not just large battery capacity, but also a large quick 65 watt super volt charger. Well, if you didn't take care of your battery and if you keep overnight charging it, well, your battery will warm up quite fast. So this is where the ColorOS 11 comes up with the battery guard. With this new feature, it's pretty good to prolong your battery capacity when, when you turn on this bodyguard feature, it will learn your pattern in the night and charge up to 80% and, and hot it there, stops charging at 80% and it will only recharge, continue to recharge it from 80% once the user are awake to charge. 
charge it back to 100% and this will really really protect your battery life so in conclusion with the update with the update of the color OS 11 I really think that this is really an exciting one to look forward to and also with the smoothness of the whole interface and also the personalization the availability for you to customize into your own user interface well oppo has really put something into it and this time it really focused on bringing the user to become their own content creator to create their own interface for their own phone to bring out their uniqueness of their own phone rather than just having the same interface commonly out there so yeah there's much more to explore there's plenty of features that i didn't go into in this video but you can always explore it when you get the color os 11 update so here's the update schedule for all the other oppo devices so take note of that and also guys among all the new features in the color os 11 that i mentioned or i didn't mention in this video which is your favorite new feature let me know in the comments below and we will discuss it in the comments below and also remember to click like and subscribe and also hit the bell icon to get the latest update and also be the first one to see me in the video so i'll see you guys next time Lock on and bye.